I'm at the shopping street, Liuli Chang. Daji. And the guidebook said this is the premier street for antiques. Which, if you want to take a look at what that means, it's this sort of thing. Hello. Hmm. The word antiques tends to mean uh, imitation, which, unless you're a total fool, I guess when I was a kid, I remember being 19 in Mexico and buying stuff like this at uh, the street, and I knew it wasn't antiques, of course, um, but I didn't really think about the fact that, you know, if I really wanted something nice, you have to go to like a museum quality shop. And rather than buy a bunch of junk and drop fifty, a hundred dollars on a whole bunch of imitation stuff, if you go to a museum quality store, you could get something that's very tasteful and high quality. It's not going to, still not going to be an antique, but it's going to be a very faithful reproduction. But it could cost you, you know, as much as you know, several hundred dollars. So it all depends if it's going to end up junk anyway collecting dust at your house or broken in a suitcase I'd say just buy the cheap stuff you know it's gonna end up at a garage sale eventually anyway buy the cheap imitation plastic snuff bottle rather than getting a real lacquered one from the museum gift shop that's gonna cost you two hundred dollars you know but this is what they mean by antique Similar to the Dongtang Antique Street that I went to in Shanghai. A lot of Mao Kitch too that I'd come on to it. That street. So Temple of God of Fire, Liuli Chang. Place where booksellers in Liu Li Chang worship the god of fire for dispelling the evil spirits. A lot of the stuff here seems to, uh, I don't know if this is ever open. And they're closing up for the day anyway. I don't know how much of the stuff here is um, still vibrant and viable. I would think that it's slated for redevelopment, just like the other side of Chain, Chain Men Street. The other side of Chain Men has been redeveloped into uh, spaces for big box retailers. They're probably doing the same thing here. Looks like a lot of these shops are shuttered. I don't know if they're closed for the day or closed forever. Everything has its place. It'd be nice if they left that east side if they uh, kept that east side for the high-end stuff and then kept the uh, 1.0 version of Chinese communism, communism with Chinese characteristics, which is to say the uh, capitalist China 
such as this. My understanding of these little shops is that they started opening up in the 70s after the Cultural Revolution and uh, 70s and 80s and they stuck around until the late 90s early 2000s when redevelopments on a first world scale started to happen all the high-rises in Pudong Shintandi which is very recent Shintandi's early to mid 2000s late 2000s even I think but this stuff's a little older. Shintandi is an area in Shanghai that they renovated to make space. An older version in Shanghai would be Tianzifong. See, in Shanghai, Tianzifong is a little bit older than Shintandi, and it's still got that Hutong, Shikumen, uh, Lilong feel to it. And this is the same thing. I think everything has its place, but the trend is towards redevelopment. So usually the pressure comes from the, hello. Usually the uh, pressure comes from the real estate developer to uh, make money and redevelop an area so that you're left with like what what I from what I saw on the east side of Chiang Men Street over by the Taiwan Guild Hall all those shops are empty there's a couple things there there's some kind of theater and there's like one or two shops that looked like they were operating but for the most part all the redevelopment over there looked like a work in progress I'm sure it'll eventually get filled with places now the antique street continues across, so I guess I'm going to have to walk up and down if I want to see all of it. You can see the uh, overcastness is mostly smog. It's not cloudy. Some of it is actual, I think, cloud. A lot of it is just particulate matter. You can feel it in your eyes after an hour or so of being outside. Not only will your even with a mask, not only will your lungs feel it, your eyes start to burn. It's extremely unhealthy. When I blow my nose, gray, it's gray, the mucus is gray. Reminds me of the color my mucus would be after I was sweeping up gravel or something all day. And I used to have an old garage in my house that used to be used for the city by coal, for coal storage, a huge center block building. And I had an idea I was going to clean it up as a kid. So I spent a lot of time in there sweeping up old gravel and dirt and things. And I'd come out and blow my nose. And I'd have blah, blah, disgusting, dirty mucus, you know.
So this is still Yuli Chong. A little more developed on this side. Looks like all these homes were renovated in the last decade or two. But it doesn't have the stamp of the uh, stuff that I saw on the other side of the street. Different developer, it looks like. So Liuli stretches all the way down to the Walmart, huh? Maybe we can go see the Walmart. How far is that gonna run me? Let's see. If I can pinch here. About 2,000, 100, 200 feet. We'll be at the Walmart. It's over by the uh, South Cathedral stop, Schwan Men stop, which is what this district is grouped as. I thought I read somewhere that the Schwan Men district is no more for whatever reason. God, the particulate matter makes it really hard to focus. Everything is washed out, isn't it? It's horrible. Poor lighting this evening. We've had several clear days. I feel ashamed that I haven't taken advantage of more of them. It's hard when you first visit a place and really do have to make good use of the nice days here. Not just because of the uh, sunshine, but on a clear day, it's a lot healthier to be outside walking around than it is on a day like this. It's like I almost didn't want to make this walk because I, I figured these shops are going to be just the kind of walk through thing. I'm not into uh, browsing for curios, especially, you know, having been to Dongtan Market. It's all the same thing, those weird uh, chestnuts. I don't know what those are. They're like, they're either rocks or they're like chestnuts that uh, are weird shaped and people buy them. The chop made. I'll inscribe a, a seal for you. Different name for seals is chops. Hmm. Let's see, is this the end of the Antique Street, or does it go on for a little ways? Kind of looks like it ends here by Tian Liao. Next to all these high rises, I think we're out of the main area now. Yeah, that's the end of the street, essentially. A few more shops. Oh, another two blocks, I'll be over by the Walmart. I guess I'll continue along and check it out. Beijing, very dirty. Communist block. It's a communist block. Communist block country, communist block 
apartment building. Hmm. Well, it's interesting to compare it to where the tourist zone ends and starts, you know? To be amongst the locals, huh? I'm in the bike lane. That guy's got a little one-stroke engine on there. Hmm. Modern glass and steel. I am curious to see the Walmart. Chinese Walmart. I never did go by these uh, two youth hostels I wanted to check out. I can walk back that way, I guess. funny how something is uh, silly as, hey, here's the JW Marriott. Something as silly as uh, having Wi-Fi in the room will influence where I stay. I would have probably stayed at a different hostel altogether if it had had Wi-Fi in the room. That llama Hostel offline five is actually very convenient because it's got a subway sandwich shop next to it. And uh, that uh, hostel I'm at on Nan Lugu, I hate walking down the pedestrian street to get back and forth to the metro stop. And I have to connect to line five anyway. It takes me just as long. If I was a further few stops further up on uh, <laughs> Shenmei. There's a butler outside of this one. Bank of China. The JW Marriott's building is much cooler in uh, Shanghai. It looks like uh, Solomon's Tower from Lord of the Rings. The Tomorrow Square building. It's got the highest service departments in Shanghai. It's pretty cool.
du 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 Tian Ching Chang Hutong. I didn't even know if I was still on Liu Li Chang Street or not. Let's see, so I think if I turn right here, I should be near the Walmart. Let's see if I'm right. If there's actually a Walmart here, I'll be surprised. I saw it on one map, so I don't know if it's actually here or not. Walmart. I saw it and I thought, Walmart, really? Let's see if I can find it. Maybe it's on Google Map that I saw it. I'll check Google Map here. Let's see, did I pass the purple sand? Aging Purple Sand Art Museum. Jing Bo Guan. Beijing Communication Telecom Museum. Hmm. Starbucks Coffee. I don't see a Walmart. Maybe it's inside here. Somewhere. Fujo Tower. Hunan Guild Hall. Watson's, I see a Watson's. Dairy Queen, getting warmer. I swear I saw their, their list at a Walmart on uh, one of the maps I was looking at. And I marked it off as being around here. Lucky Time Food Court. KFC. Maybe it was their offices. Do 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 KFC. Where was it recently that they had some riot against America and they smashed the KFC windows? Hey, here it is, Walmart. I was way off. No, I wasn't that off. I put it as here. So it's right here at the corner. Nice. Yeah, there it is. It was this map. Walmart. Let's go check out the Walmart. 